All right, good morning, welcome back. It's Monday or perhaps Tuesday. We're now into our second week of remote learning and we're just moving on. You guys did great last week. Uh, we were working on synthesis reactions, so if you're just getting with us this week, no big deal. Um, at your leisure, go back and check in on synthesis reactions. Today we're taking a little break from synthesis and uh, we're going to be working on some weights and measures. Um, specifically, we're going to be calculating molecular mass. Some of that you already did back uh, in the fall, but now we're going to take it and tie it to another concept that lets us work with chemical reactions. So we're going to do a little practice with chemical reactions. Uh, we'll write a couple of chemical reactions and then we'll move on into uh, a little bit of practice on weights and measures. So our starter today uh, is going to be on reactions. Uh, and uh, so I'll give you a moment, get your uh, seesaw up and moving and uh, I'll be right back with you. All right, so I repositioned my camera a little bit so that you can see the starter a little bit better. And uh, that first one, um, I will give you a hint, it is not correct. And so uh, if you would please rewrite that equation on number one um, so that it is correct. All right, on number two, uh, I wanna know if synthesis reactions have A, only two reactants, uh, B, two products, or C, always involve metals. Um, boy, so hmm, take a look at that. Only two reactants, two products, or always involve metals. All right, number three. Want to know which of those are diatomic? Chlorine, oxygen, and the I for iodine. Iodine is way over on the right side, element number 53. Number four, I want you to take a look at that reaction. I'm starting you out with two reactants, lithium and sulfur, and uh, giving you a chance to predict the product. Remember, this is synthesis. And then balance the entire reaction. All right, number five, calcium plus nitrogen. I need you to do the same thing. Uh, put those two together in a synthesis reaction and uh, balance the entire reaction. All right, so when you have all those done, tune in to the next video um, and I'll walk through all of the answers with you.